Right now, let's take a look at what is the background process limit on your Android phone. Let's get started. So uh, you can find it inside of your settings application, right? So if you have the developer modes or the developer options enabled, right? You can see I have them right there at the bottom. You'll be able to find what we are talking about right now uh, below. So the background process limit can be part or it is part of these uh, settings option right here. Keep in mind that if you don't have the developer mode enabled, you can always just click on uh, the about phone section, go to the software information and find uh, the build number and essentially seven times tap the build number to get to the developer mode. But essentially just go in here and so many, like really a lot of options to go through, but uh, somewhere toward the bottom part of the uh, app specific sections, right? So you can see the apps right there. We have the background process limit and essentially you have a few options. So we have the standard limit. So no change from the regular Android device, or we have the no background process one, two, four. So essentially this is what's going on and this is how you can change it. And the option basically means that the standard limit is that the default behavior, of course, and the one process at the background is, of course, that only one app is allowed at the time others are closed. Then two means that only two apps can work at the same time, and it just goes like that. Obviously, it is useful if you want to test the app behavior, so that is useful for you know developers this is why it's part of the developer mode but other than that i don't really see why you really need to use it i think it's pretty you know okay to just keep using your phone normally and you're gonna be fine right so you can check out the memory situation part of this uh, as well we have the running services and so many things which you can go in here if you are interested a little bit deeper into your phone so let me know below in the comments if it helped subscribe for more guides and videos like this one and i'll talk to you in the future tutorials